Hi, I'm Stephanie Radcliffe, Executive Director of the Wild Center, and I'm in Messina today to learn more about how pellets are manufactured. I'm here with Pat Curran. He's the owner of Curran Renewables here in Messina. It's a brand new pellet plant. Uh, Pat, tell us a little bit about how you got into the pellet business. I know it's a brand new plant. Tell us about your, your process here. We got into this just trying to make our existing companies survive. We were losing market share in the paper industry, started to look at different ideas, decided that pellets in our own area would, uh, would go well. Yeah. All right, so, so walk us through the process. Chips are delivered. Their hardwood goes into one pile, softwood goes into another pile, and depending on what blend we want to make, we are adding a certain percentage of softwood with our hardwood to help the flow of the product going through the, the system. Chips are first ground through our number one hammer mill and then dried to take most of the moisture out and then pass through a second hammer mill. After that hammer mill, it goes to a meal bin. That meal bin, a certain portion goes back for the energy that we need to continue drying the process and 80% plus ends up being produced into wood pellets. In the pellet mill, there's three rollers and the tolerance is very tight to the die. And as there, there's the, the, uh, the spinning process, is actually pushing the sawdust through the die and a friction is being created at that point and creates heat and at that and that process coming out the other end the pellets are come out they'll come out at a long length but there's a knife that'll break them off we're trying to aim for a three-quarter inch pellet so um you know in the in the in the die process i i picked up the pellets and they're they're, um, you can break them apart, but they are quite rigid. What is holding them together? Just the lignite and the wood fiber. Just the wood fiber. Yes. So it is, it is just a, a really highly compressed, um, dried piece of wood. That's correct. After the pellet is cut to the three quarter inch that you want, what happens next? There's a system of carrying these pellets to a cooler. In a cooler, we're trying to take a lot of the temperature out of them before they're screened. Yes, after they're screened the first time, there's a vacuum pump that pulls them to our main storage silo, and then our uh, bagging line pulls from the storage silo. And so that storage silo, how many pellets are in there right now? It, today it's three quarters full. When it's full, it would hold 600 ton. 600 ton, wow. Yes. If, if everything was working and the truck came in and you fed right from that load, that tree could be standing in the morning and later in that afternoon could be loaded on a truck, bagged, and heading off to the market. Wow, in one day. Yes. We're aiming for the premium grade pellet, which is between half a, half a point and 1% ash. That's the market we're in today. We're really hoping that as time goes on and the market can be developed more on a commercial side, that we produce more of a standard pellet. And I, I think generally we're going to sell our pellets probably in a 300-mile radius of Messina, New York. That's fabulous, great. Okay, Pat, so we see the whole manufacturing process right here. So what, just walk us through what we're seeing here, the moisture content, and a little bit about each part of this process and, and how it changes as it goes from one uh, part of the process to the other. Stephanie, what you have here are green chips that are coming in from the forest. They're coming in anywhere between 50 to 60% fiber, and we need to take the moisture down so that when we're at this process right here, we're at 90% dry. So this chip comes in, it's ran through a hammer mill that breaks it down to 5 eighths minus. After this, it goes through a dryer that extracts the moisture. After the dryer and cyclone, it's passed on to the second hammer mill, which breaks it down to 5 sixteenths minus. And then the final product is pushed into a pellet, and after that, the screening process, it's uh, placed in a bag at this time. And so why am I seeing this darker? Why is this darker? Well, it has a lot to do with the compression of the wood going together and the heat generated in the process. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, Pat. You I bet. learned a lot today. All right. Appreciate Thank it. Right. Thanks for watching. And next time we're going to go down and see the boiler actually being manufactured.